Hi Pisces, welcome to your general forecast for the month of February. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Pisces, we're going to look at the current energy around you, whether it be love, general. We're going to take the energies however they may come. So this um, will be whatever comes out here. So please only take what resonates. Um, may or may not be for you. It could be past, present, or future. It could be someone around you affecting you in some way. This is for sun, moon, rising. If it comes out love, I would say Venus, if not Jupiter or both, but definitely sun, moon, or rising. Jupiter or Venus. So Pisces, let's see what's going on with you at this time. So let's see. Welcome everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a great holiday season. Happy New Year. So I do say at this time, Pisces, because I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to watch past readings, your uh, links to your playlist are down below in the description box. So please check that out if you like to, as well as the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to tip or donate or send a gift, all that information is below in the description box. And I'll also pin some of that information to the top comment in the comment section. So, so all that information is there. So Pisces, let's see what's going on with you. This is a Zodiac Oracle. So we could get a sign, element, or planet. We don't resonate with what comes out here. That is totally, totally fine. So we have a uh, sun here, which is Leo. So you could have a Leo around you in some way, shape, or form. Or you could have Leo in your chart. If not, the sun energy is all about uh, who you truly are, your originality, your identity. Um, it's what makes you. It's your personality. It's your sun sign <laughs> as Pisces. It's who you truly are. And the sun in the tarot does represent a different meaning, although in the uh, zodiac it means a little bit different, but we'll see how that plays out for you. So let's see. The first thing I'm going to do here is get an opening message for you, Pisces, and then we'll get an opening energy, what your energy is like, and then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot, and then we'll look at your actual situation. We'll look at advice for your situation, possible outcome, and we'll get some closing messages with that deck over there. So let's see what's going on for you Pisces at this time. Let's get an opening message. Only, only take what resonates. Don't try to make it fit if it's not your message, if it's not making sense for you, it's not your reading. Please hold out for future readings. All right, so Pisces, what's your opening message? So we have here deception and envy. This is a seven of swords energy. So there could be somebody around you that was very deceptive to you in some way, shape, or form somewhere in your life. It could be a family member, a friend, a coworker kind of energy or someone who is envious of you, or you could be envious of somebody that uh, you work with or a family member or a friend or something like that. So we'll see how that plays out. You could be in a really good place right now with the sun energy and maybe some people are envious of you. I don't know. We'll see. So let's see what your current energy is. Why is the seven of swords here for Pisces? Oh, that's too many. I just want one. I'm just flying out. What is the energy? We'll take that one. So we have the five of pentacle energy. So this is about monetary lack. It could be feeling neglected, abandoned, left out in the cold um, kind of energy. It could also be material or financial lack. So hmm, let's see. We have one, which is the base chakra here on the bottom of the deck. So this is your basis, your foundation, uh, the basis of your life foundation of your life, your friends, your family, um, your work. I mean, everything that is the foundation of who you are. So there could be some sort of material lack here um, for some of you. I mean, there could have been something that happened in your work or career environment from a co-worker or something like that. Something Somebody could have did something that was very deceivious. A deceptive of you and somehow affected your career in some way like your foundation and now you have some sort of lack so I, I don't know we'll see we'll see what's going on here we got a lot of like mixed energy so let's see what's going on for Pisces 
why is all this energy here for Pisces or Pisces or if somebody did deceive you in some way they could have even stole from you they could have even stole money from you you know maybe at work or something like that and it really shook the foundation of your friendship or your uh, you know just being co-workers or if it, you know if it wasn't that it could have been somebody in your home because the base chakra is about your home your base is your foundation maybe somebody you invited somebody into your home and maybe you saw you know the sunny disposition maybe you thought of them in a good light and they came into your home and they could have stole money from you or stole possessions from you you know they were wearing they could have been wearing a false mask like you trusted this person you thought you saw their true colors who they really were i could trust this person Maybe you invited them in and lo and behold, maybe you had some jewelry missing and you're like, uh, what's going on here? Hmm. Okay. All right. So let's see Pisces. What's this energy? I just want to give a quick shout out to all those new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Those who have reached out for personal reading, those who have sent a gift, tipped or donated. Um, however, you've supported me in the channel. It's truly, truly appreciated, and I appreciate all of you. I couldn't do it without all of you, so thank you, thank you. So let's get some energy here, see why all this is here. Let's get one more. Okay, what's going on, Pisces? So we got the fool energy. I, I, <laughs> okay, I feel like you feel like a fool now that you trusted this person into your home. You like, I feel like such a fool now. I trusted this person. I invited them into my home. Maybe they were staying with you for a while. And all of a sudden you're like, um, I have some things missing. Yeah, you're feeling like imbalanced, like, like really conflicted. Like, you know, what's going on here? Like, you know, I didn't expect this, you know, could it really be? It's like, you're, you're just like all over the place. Like, I just can't believe it. And no, it couldn't be, maybe I just misplaced it, you know, and then Lo and behold, you find out, okay, this person was wearing a mask. They weren't, they weren't who they truly were. And now you, you like, I feel like a fool that I trusted this person. Yeah. For <laughs> six of wands. Well, this is success and victory. Um, but you see the home there. So I feel like you invited them into your home. Like I trusted them and now you feel foolish for doing that justice so yeah maybe you had to get the justice department involved you know you might have had to call the police you might have you know whatever here or you thought it was the right thing to do and invite them in you did yeah because you were in your loving caring compassionate energy here king or queen of cups doesn't matter male or female watching doesn't matter you felt like it was the right thing to do to and you know you felt very accomplished by doing this you felt you know like you were doing the right thing you were being in your just your loving, caring, nurturing, giving kind of energy, like the cup energy is. And now five of swords. Yeah. Wow. So that five of swords energy is about, you know, egocentric energy, like doing whatever you want and you really don't care. So this person came into your home and they did what they want and they really didn't care. They really didn't really care deep down. You thought they did. And now you're like, I was just a fool to believe I could trust this person. It's like they rocked your foundation. Like you just couldn't believe it. Maybe you've even known this person for a long time. And you're like, I just can't believe, you know, I trusted this person. Yeah, Ten of Swords. So I think this could have ended, ended this whole situation. Like this now friendship or even a family member, whatever it is. It's like it's done. It's over now. It's like. There's no turning back from this behavior. It's like whether or not you had to get the legal system involved, only you know your situation, but you thought you were doing what's right. And uh, deceptive energy here, especially with the, um, okay. I wanted four more and I got four more. The two ones. Maybe you were making plans and decisions with this person, like trying to help them in their journey. Maybe they were, you know, in not a good place and you were trying to help them out in some way. Queen of Wands. So, oh, they could have been a fire sign because we do have the sun energy there. Now we're getting a lot of wand energy. So they could have been a fire sign. King of Pentacle energy. Hmm. Okay, we'll get one more. And the Two of Swords. So being indecisive kind of energy. 
So I feel like we got two twos here, but the, here's the ending here. It's like whatever happened here ended this friendship, even if it was a family member or whatever, it's just, it's just done. It's over. I think you were making plans to try to help this person um, <clears throat> in some way. You could even lend them, you know, financially. You could have even lent them money. The King of Pentacle energy. You could have lent them money. You know, maybe they had some big bright ideas for the future. You know, that's a Queen of Wands, King or Queen doesn't matter. And the King or Queen of Pentacles doesn't matter. But the Queen, King or Queen of Pentacles, someone who's very passionate go-getter. They have some big bright ideas, the entrepreneurship kind of energy. So maybe they had some big bright ideas for the future. You were helping them along the way. Maybe even offered them money. Maybe you were a little indecisive, like, is this the right thing for a little bit? But then you, you thought you could trust them. You thought you could help them. But then now the energy is like, okay, they deceived me. They deceived me. They backstabbed me. I thought I could trust them. I feel foolish now. I'm so confused. I'm mixed up because of all this. I don't know why it happened to me. You know, and you thought this was going to be, you know, the right thing to do. Like, this was going to lead to their success and victory. And you invited them into your home. Because you were just being you, you, your loving, caring, compassionate, nurturing kind of energy. And it, I think, backfired on you. Wow. Okay, so. Let's see here. I'm not getting like there's a lot of different kind of people involved. I'm getting like maybe you gave them money. Maybe you, you know, you, they had big bright ideas. They could have been a fire sign. But they were deceiving you the whole time. And now this has just ended. Your friendship, your whatever it was for you, it's it's just ended. You've, you've ended. You've terminated it. You may even had to call, you know, the police or get, you know, legal system involved in some way. So let's get advice for you. Three of Cups. So that is it's about rejoicing, celebrating, coming together, reuniting. Eey. Maybe you reunited with this person. Maybe you hadn't seen them in a long time. And, you know, you reunited with them and, you know, you were trying to make plans and decisions with them, helping them moving forward. Maybe they told you. Maybe they just went through something, a uh, painful ending also. And you were trying to help them. Yeah. You're like they're like, oh, I'm waiting for my ships to come in, you know, and it's not happening. Can you, you know, I have this idea, but it's not happening. Can you help me in this journey so I can move forward? Oh, can you lend me some money, you know, or something like that? The emperor. So they, I think they have big ideas to be like a boss or create their own company or be an entrepreneur. They may have just made it up just to make it sound good, just so that you would help them kind of energy. Or maybe you're somebody who does make a lot of money, who's well off. You could be a boss, you own your own business, and they saw this opportunity and, you know, to seize it. Six of Cups. Yeah, so this could be somebody that you've known for a very long time. You know, this could have been a family member. This could have been um, an old co-worker, somebody you went to school with. But this is your advice for the situation. So we have two threes here. Three of wands about waiting for your ships to come in. Three of cups, though, is about celebrating, rejoicing, coming back together. But the emperor takes lead, takes control, takes charge. Six of cups is energy from the past. So... Oh, I feel like you need to take control of the situation. If you know this is going on, whether or not it's someone from the past, someone you know for a very long time, it doesn't matter. Don't wait. Don't wait on this. Take control of this matter. Even though you may have just reunited with them. If you know something that isn't up here, and even though you're like, well, I'm just going to wait it out, see what happens. Maybe it's, maybe that's not what's really happening. Maybe it's not true or well, whatever here. Um... I think you need to take control of the situation here with the emperor. Emperor, empress, doesn't matter. King or queen. Well, not king or queen, but male or female, doesn't matter. So let's see what your outcome will be. The ace of wands. This is a brand new beginning here. Let's see what else. The moon. Energy, that's your energy. All right, what else? And the ace of pentacles. Wow. So... 
I mean, it could end up turning around maybe. And maybe whatever they were telling you maybe was true, but maybe you found out they did something deceptive, maybe stole from you or whatever. But I mean, there could be forgiveness here and coming back together. And maybe actually this idea they had panning out in the long run, because you do have a passionate new beginning here and a very stable new beginning. Although you don't see the path clearly, feeling a little illusion in the moon energy. Or it could be about secrets coming to light with the moon energy. I know, I feel like I need a couple more because this is very um, like conflicting energy. So why is all this here? The Four of Swords, resting, rejuvenating, healing. And the Four of Pentacles, holding on to stability. So I feel like, I feel like with the moon energy, I mean, that can be about secrets, lies, deceptive energy also. And finally, truth coming to light. I think you finally have seen the truth. About these promises i feel like false promises they promised you with the ace of pentacles and the ace of wands of being oh a very abundant future you know very exciting endeavor new you know beginning here and i feel like you saw through all that you will see through all that lines they were feeding you because now we have rest re rejuvenation recoup you know recuperating healing contemplating so i think you're going to think about this and realize i just need to hang on to my own stability my own um, foundation here. I don't know. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The Knight of Cups. So that's your energy moving, you know, in loving, compassionate energy. We got the Two of Cups, so people coming into unity. I think you, you, you know, reunited with this person you hadn't seen in a very long time. I think they swooped right in very quickly to you rushed right in once you know they saw you reunited with you they saw an opportunity to rush right in no making promises but their promises was just based on false hope here with the ten of wands you know that's ending another ending here another ending so and then we got the three of pentacles so you I mean you wanted to work on it with them again being in your loving caring nurturing giving kind of energy but monetary lock again with the five of pentacles so i feel like in the hermit so i feel like you really had to think about this and realized it was just false promises and again i feel like again with the home here you invited into your home and they stole something from you yeah the tower big shake up break up breakdown here arguments yep and then needing to heal from that energy making a judgment call with the um judgment here about this whole situation, about this tower moment that happened. Well, a lot of making a judgment call on this and having to heal over a tower moment. There's communication. You know, I think they communicated to you. You invited them into your home. You know, you did the right thing, being loving, caring, nurturing, reuniting with them. They rushed right in. But then you had to go in and withdraw because they came in with false promises. And now you got an ending, another ending here with the five of pentacles. Again, monetary lack. So I feel like they took something from you. And you felt like you were just being in your nature, your caring, nurturing, giving energy. Oh, and we do have the, I just see the knight of cups, which is a player energy. I feel like this person is a player. They were a player. <laughs> Maybe con artists. I don't know. You believe them. But you made a final judgment call here. So we have Leo, Sag, Aries. We have Scorpio. We have Aquarius. We have Aries. Um, your energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, let's see here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Virgo. Uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Your energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Aquarius. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Libra. Leo, Sag, Aries, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Cancer, Pisces. So, I mean, how it resonates for you, I just feel like some of you were, were deceived by somebody you fully, fully cherished and trusted. And now you feel foolish for trusting them because they deceived you, they lied, they manipulated, they um, conned you, they maybe even stole from you. They made false promises, but... Now you're just hanging on to whatever stability you have left. I mean, you could have even tried to start a business with this person and it was just all based on false promises. 
for some of you. Wow. So, I mean, however this resonates for you, if it's not that, it could be just somebody that you trusted and they just deceived you in some way. And you didn't see it clearly at first. All you saw was potential. You saw potential, but yet they were deceiving you. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Pisces, I do ask Pisces, if, especially if you're new, you can check out my channel. If you like my style, how I read, you like what you see, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. And if you do, thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's get some closing messages for you here. Pisces on this situation. Eight of Pentacle energy here, Parrot. It's the perfect time to learn all you can by returning to school, taking a seminar, or conducting research. <laughs> Excuse me. Do your best work, and the law of attraction will bring you prosperity and career advancement. So I think you need to research on this person. <laughs> Maybe you don't know everything um, about them. Maybe you need to, I don't know, hire a PI, or maybe just, you know, do some research. I don't think you know everything you think you know about this person. All right. Again, it could be like a co-worker, a friend, family. It could be anybody. Queen of Autumn. Thoughtful, caring, creative, ingenious. Belgian here. You will be given advice that's both practical and creative, and it should be followed precisely. Focus only upon the positive in every situation or person. So I think you try to see... They seem very stable to you because now we got the king and queen of pentacle here. So they seem very, very stable, honest, sincere, uh, secure. You could trust them. You saw the good in them. Um, you tried to see the positive in the situation. But I don't know. Let's see here. Pisces. One more. Awakening. Yeah, exactly. This is your energy, Cancer or Pisces, hangman. Look at things in a different way and all will make sense. Don't worry if your progress is halted temporarily. Things will soon start moving again. So again, this is awakening. So again, you're, you're being awakened to this person, to how they truly are. It may, take an, may have taken a while there with that hangman energy, but you finally saw their true colors. You gained a new perspective. And I feel like with the Ten of Swords there, you just like cut ties with this person you ended it yeah five of autumn again that's come out three times now this deck here and it came out over here so <laughs> five of pentacle energy manatee focusing upon the negative or worrying about money or your career can block your progress because your trust and faith are at a low, low point right now and it's not the best time to start your own business or become self-employed so again this is a monetary material lack that's coming up three times here. So don't, if you got someone new coming in or you're reuniting with somebody, don't, don't trust them. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. They might be just false promises, false hope. They may be very deceptive. They may steal from you. They may, I don't know, they may take you for a ride. So don't, I don't know, don't trust somebody you haven't seen in a very long time that comes in and they look very promising and trustworthy. I don't get a good energy from them. Because you have the five of pentacles three times. And it may take you three times to realize their true intentions. So just be wary. Okay, Pisces. Well, I hope this resonated for you. If it did, leave me a comment. Let me know. Um, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channels, to always, always shine your light.